Our Hamilton County Juvenile Court Judge Tracy Hunter was back in a courtroom today. Yeah, this time appearing before the state Supreme Court arguing against the permanent suspension of her law license. In our next case of 2023-0472 Disciplinary Council versus Tracy Hunter. Former Hamilton County Juvenile Court Judge and convicted felon Tracy Hunter represented herself before the state's high court this morning. Notably missing from the bench, Justices Pat DeWine and Joseph Dieters, who both recused themselves from the case. During her argument, Hunter, speaking about herself, claimed constitutional issues regarding violations of her due process and submitted evidence, among other things. It was also a violation of respondents' due process rights when the board rejected all of her exhibits, refused to allow her to present a closing argument, and refused to give her time to retain a new lawyer after her lawyer quit when she confronted him about failing to provide a legal brief to review on the day that it was due. Hunter was previously convicted in 2014 and sentenced to six months in jail on one count related to confidential court records she shared with her brother, who was an employee of the courts at the time. The case dragged on for years, exhausting the appeals process, and finally ended with Hunter dramatically being taken into custody in 2019, despite her physical objections. Following her conviction, a disciplinary board recommended to indefinitely suspend her law license. I have been suspended without my livelihood, without my law license, without my ability to provide for myself for almost 10 years when justices on this honorable court have abused and violated the exact same statute that they accused me of, yet no evidence was submitted in my case. When you have the full transcript, you will see she offered no exhibits at hearing. It's not that they were excluded or weren't allowed in, she simply didn't offer them. Additionally, due process requires that she have an opportunity to explain the circumstances surrounding her conduct. She was provided that. She had six weeks to file a closing argument. She didn't do so. Don Sheets represented the disciplinary council and called Hunter's conviction a threat to public confidence. He says that there are no other cases in the state he's aware of involving a judge and felony charges. Uh, and there aren't a lot of judges committing felonies, and there aren't a lot of cases. Uh, it's a serious matter, and it doesn't happen. And that's why we're asking that you take this so seriously, to instill confidence in the judiciary. The, there's no precedent involving a judge that has facts like this, though, that you're aware of? No. Now, Hunter telling the justices during her closing argument today that she wants to return to law and be made whole again. However, no decision was made. Instead, the justices said that they will take the case under advisement and Hunter will receive a decision from the court. No word on how long that could take, but we'll, of course, keep an eye on the case and let you know when the court rules.